Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning to all my brothers and sisters from all around the world. I just want to welcome you to another biblical segment where we study the Word of God. I just want to thank you for being here. And I also want to tell you that I appreciate your effort for you taking time out to study the Word of God with me. Father God, in the name of Yeshua Mashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, touch each and every one of us that are gathered here. Because Father, your word said, like where two are gathered together, you will be in the midst. Father, I thank you. I appreciate you. Father God, I welcome you. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you for your only begotten Son, Yahweh Savior. Continue to bless my brothers and sisters with wisdom, knowledge, understanding. Give them power to overcome. Power to stand against the wiles of the enemy. Power so when they get tempted, they can take that way of escape and run. Just like old Joseph did. Father God, forgive us our sins. We fall short, Father God. We are not perfect and you know, Father. Jesus Christ, our Lord. You know how it is. You came in the flesh like us, but you are holy. God in the flesh, Emmanuel, God with us. So you understand and you say in your word that you are touched by our infirmities. You are touched for you know that the flesh is weak. The flesh is weak, but the spirit is strong. Strengthen us, Lord, so we can overcome like you. We follow you, Father God, because your words say, that you came that we will overcome this wicked world. So we follow you, Yeshua. We follow you, Yeshua Mashiach. We follow you, Yahweh Savior. We follow you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your only begotten Son. What a wonderful work he did for us. There is no one above him. There is no name above his name. He is only, he is the only one who was born in the flesh. And overcame sin. He never sinned. Sinless. Guiltless. Faultless. Perfect. Perfecto. Thank you Lord. Thank you Father. In his precious name. Yeshua HaMashiach. And today. Again my name is Dr. PJ. From the prophetic word. Today. I'm going to be teaching. A word to the nations. Not only this nation where we stand on this terra firma, America, but the entire nation because the world belongs to the Lord and the fullness thereof. The word today is from the book of Second Chronicles, chapter 7, verse 14. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and forgive their sin and I will heal their land. Blessed be his name. Hallelujah. And what God is saying to us and to the entire world. That we must humble ourselves to him. In order for him to heal our land. He will heal your marriage. If both come together. And repent. That marriage can be restored. He not only will heal the land, he will heal marriages, he will heal our finances, he will heal our societal problems. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, whosoever shall believe in him shall be saved. 
whosoever can call upon his name all you have to do is to call upon the name of the Lord as a nation we calling upon your name Jesus Christ of Nazareth Heavenly Father we call upon your name save us oh Lord save us save us from all wickedness Isaiah chapter 60 verse 18 violence shall no more be heard in thy land wasting nor destruction within thy borders but thou shall call thy walls salvation and thy gates praise amen this is what God is saying to us as a people Proverbs 14 verse 34 righteousness exalted a nation but sin is a reproach to any people when you see nations that are living in utmost poverty they are lacking the edu education they're lacking medical they are lacking doctors they are lacking through civil laws the laws does not protect the women and the children neither the elderly neither the widow neither the poor nor the disabled their laws does not protect them there is no opportunity in their land amen because a sin is mount up to the heavens nations that practice witchcraft and wizardry nations that practice voodoo and santeria nations that practice idol worship and idolatry nations that murder and kill the unborn and the children there's blood in the streets today because the blood of the innocent is being shed and in the book of Micah chapter 4 verse 3 we read and he shall judge among many people and rebuke strong nations afar off and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks nation shall not lift up a sword against nation neither shall they learn any more war and I'm only giving you a little tip at the millennium because I will be teaching you the millennium amen they say is a rapture but no 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 there is a millennium which is 1000 years of peace on this earth where nations and people of all ethnic group are going to live in peace and enjoy and Yeshua Amashia the Lion of Judah will sit in Mount Zion on his throne and all nations shall gather before him and bow and worship him in the 1000 years as we continue this segment for the nations and we pray that the Lord will have mercy upon this nation and that the Lord will continue to protect us and protect us borders and when I say borders I'm talking about South America 
all the way down coming through the Atlantic into the border of Brazil all the way down to the tip coming up from Argentina all the way down coming around those are the borders those borders are protected by the angelical warriors the angels of the Lord and the Pacific side is protected all the way from Hawaii coming down all the way down coming down into togo guam hitting down the south pacific of panama into the panama canal which is the back door all the way down to central america coming around up and then going around all the way down to canada hallelujah glory be to god Ooh, thank you Jesus thank you Lord I'm in the spirit Lord Jesus thank you to Alaska those are the entryways of America and the angels are protecting that border because they signed a contract almost a hundred years ago and sold the land to America so they're regretting it now that like they sold that land but the Lord used a man to bought that land called Alaska to protect our back door from Russia thank you Heavenly Father glory be to thy name let your children hear your voice and your word today in Isaiah chapter 60 is also part of the millennium study and in verse number 12 it says for the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish if the nation or the kingdom they're talking about islands that would not they refuse to serve the Lord Almighty. They refuse to serve Father, Yahweh. They refuse to serve Yeshua HaMashiach, our Lord and Savior. They reject Him. Those nations, including the islands, shall be utterly wasted. They shall be wasted. And as I was growing up, in the school that my dad placed me in that school was a good school they taught us the geography of all the nations near and close by so we have to do the americas we have to do europe we have to do different continents and as i study I remember that each nation had a religious belief and a creed. That particular dogma of belief from every nation I remember to this day. So I can remember those, what was said in those books. That's why my family called me the plethora of knowledge when I was a kid. They say, ask her, she know. Ask that little girl. Yes, ask her, she will tell you. So I remember there's nations that rejected the Lord. To this day, they have rejected the Lord. They have evil practices, evil covenants from their ancestors that they swore satanic and evil oaths. And today, to this day, those nations are cursed. They have high poverty, high crime, high violence. They have socialism. They have a lot of uneducated people. People flee the nation as soon as they can. People run to another nation if they can. So the word of God is truth. Like those nations. 
that reject God, they shall be put to waste. I said, God said in the book of Isaiah 54, Behold, I created the smith that bloweth the cold in the fire. He, the smith fashioned an instrument. An instrument of death. Behold, I created the smith that bloweth the coal in the fire. And the waster to waste. He created the waster. That's why they've been wasted. They have persecuted the people of God. They have rejected Almighty God. Their ancestors made covenants. Blood covenants. Spiritual covenants. And they have rejected the true word of God. That's persecuted the prophetess and the prophets of God. They have threatened to take the life of the prophetess and the prophets. So therefore they are cursed. The generation is cursed. And the generation trying to figure out why these things are happening to us as a people. In the book of Timothy, 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 1. I exhort therefore that first all supplications and prayers, intercession, and giving of thanks be made for all men. And our great intercessor is Yeshua. You don't need a pastor, you don't need an evangelist, you don't need a bishop to intercede for you. That curtain was rent from the top down. All you got to do is to humble yourself and ask the Lord to forgive you and pray. And ask for mercy. You don't need me. I can pray for you. We can pray together. But you can enter into and pray. He hears you. He hears you. Let's start to the book of Matthew chapter 28. Got a word for you. Matthew chapter 28. And we're going to be reading at least two verses there in that book. And Jesus came and spake unto them saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. So all power, I don't care what the esoteric and the metaphysical said. I don't care what your voodoo priest said. I don't care what your burning candles and your altar say. I don't care what the Sangoma, the Bushman, the Dibia, the Babalao, the Santero, the Brujo, the Piritista. Come on, all language. All nations, all have sinned and fall short. All of them do it. Why? Because the Nephilians who took the women in their tribes and their nation produce children who practice these things all power amen i say all power all power was given to yeshua amashia both in heaven and, and on earth so that the prophet the woman the anointed people of god tell you something and say, this is what you're going to see. This is what's going down. This is what's happening. And it come to pass exactly all the prophetess or the prophet of God told you. And the benefit is, first, you didn't have to do any sacrifice. You didn't have to kill no goats. You didn't have to bring two black chicken. You didn't have to go buy two dozen of brown eggs. You didn't have to burn no candles. But the word came to you afresh from God. And the anointing of God prove it to you that all power belongs to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
I said we've been bought with the blood of the high priest. Psalm 33 to close out. Verse 12. Blessed is a nation whose God is the Lord. And the people whom he has chosen for his inheritance. Blessed be the nation. You have persecuted God people. You have thrown them down into poverty. You have run over them. You have made them sick. You have made them jobless. You have made them callless. You have made them homeless. Nephilians. I'm talking those wicked Nephilians. Nephilim. They do not love human beings. They do not love human beings. Because they are not human beings. They are half human. Their daddy O is a fallen angel. That's why they worship their ancestors. Eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood. Again, my name is Dr. PJ from the prophetic word. Be encouraged in Yeshua, Amashia, precious name, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I defeat you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. I defeat you, Satan, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.